So a lot of people been hitting me up. Like, yo, Joe, yo, Jay talking about you. Jay talking about you on uh, CLB. First, I was like, what the hell is CLB? Is this some new gang or something? Why is everybody talking about CLB? What is CLB? Well, CLB is uh, the abbreviation for uh, Drake's new album called Cool Lover Boy. You might have seen a bunch of pictures, emojis with a bunch of pregnant women of all ethnicities. So that's the album cover to Cool Lover Boy. Um, on this album, Jay drops uh, a verse on a song called, I think it's No Love or All Love or something like that. Let me be. It'd be lazy of me to uh get the uh, name. It's called Love All. So This is a This is going to be a long story because I can't just break this down real quick. Some of y'all are going to have to go and see Marcy made to understand it even more. But you definitely gonna have to go and see it to understand it even more. Um, so where do I begin with this whole situation? Now it's, a, it's already, uh, A whole bunch of nonsense going on with Kanye and Drake, and we'll talk about that later. But right now, let, let's focus on this at hand, right? Now, this story starts way back in the day, in the early 90s. There once was this rapper named Jay-Z. Sean Carter was his real name. Boys and girls, pull up a chair, because this is a long-ass story, but it is a great history lesson in hip-hop. No one's going to break this down the way I break it down for you to understand Jay-Z's verse on Cool Lover Boy. All right? I got my Escobar cigar. I, I ain't going to spark it, but, you know, if you want to know what I'm holding on to, that's that Escobar cigar, all right? Shout out Nas. Shout out Bur uh, Big Gang, too. Y'all see him back, Big Gang. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this, but I might shave it off right after the show. I don't know. But, uh, you know, shout out to Big Gang. They always send me things. I don't know their website. I don't know none of that. They just send me stuff. So if you want to Google them, you can do that. If they was paid advertising, I don't know everything. So if you want to pay advertise with me, choke no joke at Gmail got uh choke no joke at gmail.com. All right. But I appreciate these brothers. They always send me dope stuff. All right. Beard gang. Shout out to all y'all that can't grow a bed. Uh getting the fake beard painted on and looking like they putting that rug and glue on your face. Y'all walking around here with fake beards looking like James Harden in the face. Big bushy fake beard looking like a uh, fake James Harden. But um, 
So this verse on Cool Lover Boy, like I said, goes back years. Years, all right? Now, it starts off with two guys. Jay-Z, D. Haven, all right? Jay-Z, if you follow Jay-Z's career, the lyrics tell the story. D. Haven introduced me to the game. They met Spanish Jose. They got some cane and all that other stuff, right? Reasonable doubt ever days, right? So I'll get back to uh um <laughs> shout out to my man Abley Hollywood. Um so I'll get back to Cool Lover Boy in a minute. I'm gonna, we're gonna go through all that, right? So Jay and Cool Lover Boy is addressing D Haven. I know a lot of y'all think he's talking to me. Some of them lines, some of them bars could have been for me. You know, this nigga double entendre, triple entendre, artists, you know, metaphors and everything. Some of the stuff could have been for me. But I can guarantee you for the most part, he's talking about D. Haven. Some of y'all running around, oh, he's talking about Kanye. Oh, he's talking about Dane. No, he's not. Y'all niggas don't know who y'all talking about. Y'all don't, you got to know who you talking about. You got to know who you dealing with. Okay, you gotta know. You gotta follow the person. I couldn't tell you who a young thug would be talking about in his music because I don't follow his career. But somebody that's a diehard young thug fan, when he's talking about somebody and he don't even mention their name, they could tell you who he's talking about, right? So as far as Jay Z. I was a fan before I met him, before I worked there throughout. So throughout this whole catalog, I got this whole thing. So I know him and I know his wordplay. And I, if, like I said, when you dealing with an artist that you deal with or you love the artist, the artist, not the person, the artist, music, you know their career. Like people could tell you when, uh, Biggie was dissing Pac, even though he didn't ever say his name. You know, you could tell, like, is it, you, you get it, all right? So let's move on. So in Cool Lover Boy album, the song Love All, Jay is addressing D. Haven, even though y'all all think he's talking about Kanye, Dane, and some of y'all think so to me, he's talking about D. Haven. Now, let me take y'all back, all right? For all you young ones, Jay-Z had a song called Dead Presidents. In this song, Dead Presidents, on Reasonable Doubt, is Jay-Z talking about his street life, uh, for the most part, going into the industry on this album. On the song Dead Presidents 2, not one, Dead Presidents 2, he tells a story about him hustling with D. Haven, D. Haven getting shot, him being in the hospital or seeing D. Haven, you know, being shot and, you know, he surviving this, that, and other. He tell him about, yo, don't worry, I got you. I'm going to get them niggas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, then he goes on later to say that he had an encounter to where, um, hold on, this person put a super chat so they could be seen. Are you a fan of Jay now? I never stopped being a fan of Jay now or ever. I always said I'm a fan of Jay's music. You got the attention you want solo productions? Can I continue on? Can you go sit back down in the class and stop acting up for attention solo? Okay, go get, go get back in your seat. Go sit back down. Okay, fold your hands in, together on the desk. Put your knees under the table. Put your knees under the table. Okay, now sit forth 
and watch the class, okay? Pay attention. Now, Jay talks about after that how he encounters a situation where he almost gets shot, but the bullets ain't touching three shots, all right? For those who don't know what I'm talking about, I will read the lyrics for you. And if you want to sing it, sing along with me. I, if you know these lyrics, please sing along with me. And Solo, you raise your hand next time you want to talk. Just don't be jumping out in the classroom like that. <laughs> I'm just playing with you, Solo. Much love, man. Thanks for the donation. Y'all already know the hook. I'm out for Nas hook, I mean. Nas lips. I'm out for presidents to represent me. Yeah, but I'm president to represent Who are the baddest that we don't touch? Letters, stack cheddars forever. Live treacherous, only et cetera. To the death of us, me and my confidants. We shine. We feel the ambiance. Y'all niggas just frown. By the ounce, though, accumulates like snow. We don't just shine, we illuminate the whole show. You feel me? Factions from the other side would love to kill me. Spill three quarts of my blood into the street, let alone the heat. Fuck them. They hate a nigga loving his life in all possible ways. No the feds is bugging my life. That line hits different right now. <laughs> in all possible ways. No the feds is bugging my life. Hospital days reflected when my man D. Haven laid up. Up on the hot, uptown hot block, De Haven got his side sprayed up. I saw De Haven life slipping. This is a minor sit back. Yo, we still all living. Just dream about to get back. This made De Haven smile, then it threw his eyes. He said, pray for me. I do you one better and slay these niggas faithfully. Murder's a tough thing to digest. It's a slow process and I ain't got nothing but time. I had near brushes. Not to mention, D. Haven's partner, allegedly. Three shots, close range. Never touch me. Divine invention. Can't stop I. Right? Now, if you saw Marcy May, and a lot of y'all will have to go and see Marcy May to understand this. Let me go back to the lyrics for the breakdown. Shout out, Jay. I know you're watching, homie. What up? Uh, all right, this part right here. On the uptown high block, he got his side sprayed up. That's when D. Haven got shot. Right after D. Haven got shot, sometime after that, D. Haven gets arrested. When D. Haven gets arrested, if you watch Marcy May and go see it for yourself, when D. Haven gets arrested, his partner at the time, I don't know this person's name, goes to their spot. And he sees Jay at the spot. Now, I had this conversation with D. Haven. I just posted it the other day. I'll play it right now so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So this all makes sense, right? D. Haven gets knocked. If you watch, go watch Marcy May so you go, you, you can understand this, right? When D. Haven gets knocked, Jay is seen allegedly, I gotta say, at this at D, one of D Haven's spots, allegedly, but he, he, he tells the story. And when he sees him there, um I got you after this, uh solo. I appreciate it, man. But you're gonna throw my uh train of thought off. Um and you just did. So, uh, 
the Haven's locked up. Jay goes to one of the Haven spots. I don't know if it's to re uh, up. I don't know if if Jay is, it took over the spot and now he pumping out of it. Whatever he was doing, Jay's. I mean, the Haven's partner felt like Jay was violated, right? And he shoots at Jay three times. Alleged, why well, you see it right there? I can say I gotta say allegedly to cover myself, even though I don't know this nigga name, nothing, right? But as you can hear, uh I had near brushes, not to mention three shots close range, never touched me. Divine invention, can't stop by. You know what I'm saying? Now that was the Haven's man that shot at Jay. So now when Jay says I mean, when D. Haven says Jay's his brother, his little brother, his little brother, if he's his brother, then D. Haven's partner should know even if Jay's violating, you don't try to take the nigga's life. You don't hurt Jay. That's my little bro. You know what I'm saying? You got now where Jay, I personally feel, where Jay looks at the situation is, nigga, that was your partner. The nigga shot at me three Point blank three, God, by the grace of God, nigga ain't kill me. You want me to still be cool with you? No. So it ain't it ain't about him snitching on him or whatever, you know, because later on you got the song, it was all good just a week ago. Um where he talked about um he called him. And, you know, and that was a, another thing. I'll get to that. But in this situation right here, this this gave to me, Jay, every right to not fuck with the Haven no more. Your man tried to kill me. Now, me meeting the Haven, I, I can't, I think, what is that? When he first came on, he reached out to me. I didn't, I didn't deal with him. Over the years, up like to a couple of years ago, we got, we got connected. We got cool. Not that any of this matter, but looking at his story from when he first came out, when he called his mother and his mother, and he was going at Jay mother and all that stuff, you know, even though he apologized about all that. Um, and then going at Jay with the Jay-Z exposed thing. I feel, I feel that if he has said or made it known then about his partner allegedly trying to, uh, kill Jay or shoot, or shoot at Jay, that it would be clear to everybody why Jay-Z don't fuck with him. Because me, I wouldn't. If it like I it's just certain things I'm not just gonna overlook. You know what I'm saying? So I never knew this part of it. Uh until he came out with Marcy May. And then when he came out with Marcy May, then it made sense to me. And I told him, Oh, nigga, it's a no-brainer. Jay don't rock with you. Because your man tried to kill him. Now, Jay has never addressed it until now. And the reason he's addressing it now is because the Haven keep on going with, with why he don't understand why Jay ain't rocking with him. So Jay used this opportunity on Love All to address it. Clear and simple. But let me show you. I'm going to show you where I had the conversation with De Haven about his partner uh, shooting at Jay and why he don't, Jay don't rock with him. And I told this to De Haven over a year ago. 
This is over a year ago, and Jay saying it now. But I said this over a year ago. You also said in it that his mother was a street savvy like your mom's. So, um, my question to you is, being that you know that his, you know, his mom was a street savvy, and when you made that call, you know, do do you? look back on it now and be like, man, you know, she didn't know how to uh, deal with a street situation. And being that you said you was out on bail when you called, right? Nah, I was locked up. Oh, you was locked up. Okay. So, you know, being that, you know, you called, because now I think that that's Jay talking about you uh, and one of those songs where he said, um, uh, Talking you called you good talking reckless on the phone. Um, I could I could I could hear the see in your tone. Would you mad because you locked up in a home? I, I I'm assuming he was talking about you when he talked about that, right? Yeah, so could have been mm -hmm. right. Um, but the only thing was he he didn't get the phone call. His mother got the phone call. Like, do you look back at that now and just say like? Yo, his mom's she she wasn't street savvy. So the way she she, she, she could have uh she probably was just a bad messenger and made him think mm -hmm. otherwise. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was no other way around it. I mean, I only had talked to his mom. You know what I'm saying? Right. The only reason why I ended up talking to her because I got tired of trying to cut, you know, run him down. You know what I'm saying? He was, it seemed like he was making himself unavailable. So just to be like, yo, cut the foot, you know, cut all the middleman shit. I'm about to call this nigga moms. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's nothing. I called my mom, yo, give me glory and number. That's just how it is. Like, all right, bro. When, when you spoke to her, did you did you have an attitude or was you cool? No, I'm locked up with your son at. I understand she's not a second side of me, but yeah, right. I'll let you know. I'm locked up. I've been looking for your son. Where you at? Tell him I need to, you know, I need to get a message to him. And that's it. Now this is this is Jay that's the artist or Jay still on the street? What year is this? This is Jay the artist. Still. It doesn't matter. I need to talk to him. Don't matter. I need right. to talk to him. So you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, I mean see. This, this is where I disagree with D Haven in this whole situation right there where he called his mother and trying to get Jay on the phone and he's in the feds. You in the feds, bro. And you trying to get on the line with a nigga you was selling drugs with. Like you can't get on the line with the nigga you were selling drugs with. And you, you know all your shit is being recorded. How the hell are you trying to reach out to a nigga that is a part, maybe a part of your case, or you know that was selling drugs with you? You like it, you can't, like, it got to be, I understand him reaching out in desperation of this, that, and the other, but that nigga is not getting on the phone with you to say anything for them to record, to connect anything. I don't know. I just, I just, I just look at that different. Let me ask you now. I, now the situation with homeboy, like when not well, did Jay do the did, do the foul the foul thing prior to you call him when you locked up? Had that happened yet? Oh, um, no. So when you call him, it it, might have, no, no, hold on, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. See, and now right here, right here, I'm talking. I, I didn't wasn't trying to give it away before because you know, 
Marcy May had just came out. But right here, I'm asking him. I'm saying, yo, Solo, thanks for the donation. Um, I'm asking De Haven, did your man shoot at Jay before or after you got locked up when you was in jail? Are you reaching out to him? Are you reaching out to Jay before your man shot at him or after? Because if you're reaching out to him after your man shot at him, he definitely not taking your call. Right? Yeah, it might have. Yeah, because if that's the case, then you, I really, I really you got it. You got it. You got to know that's why he, he wasn't. He, he wasn't receptive. Yeah. To, to, it don't matter. Yo, listen to me. All, 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 all things are off the table under these circumstances. You know what? Suppose I wasn't a moral nigga. Suppose I ain't lived by that. None of us would be here. So you can't think like that. You no. Uh, I mean, if, if you, I mean, what he did was wrong. But, right. Okay. <laughs> so, like, no, but, no, but you what I'm saying is, but what, what, what I'm saying is this. He dealt with the repercussions of what he did, right? By the grace of God or his Satan, he, he lived. I don't know what, why he survived, but by the grace of whoever, he, he survived it, right? But, and you still rock with the dude that's, that, that tried to take his head off. How do you think, how do you expect him to want it to be cool with you? When you still rocking with that dude, which <sighs> that that's so, that like we they now don't have to see, listen, they don't have to see that. They don't let them when we when those that's a question that I'm gonna ask, let them see that and I can answer that question because I want to give you the proper analogy when it's time for that question to be answered. How could it? Because you have to give the proper analogy on how things went so people can see from that perspective. Right. I mean, I don't want to get out of the way by just doing the proper analogy, but two wrongs ain't going to never make a right. He did wrong, and I'm, I'm not saying it did, uh, oh boy, did something wrong because that's what most people would have did in that situation. But the fact that you still cool with dude and he don't, he not cool with you. That's why he ain't cool with you. It's making people want to talk. Right. See, we talking to Cole because he didn't want me to give the, the storyline to the Marcy May. But basically, he's saying that Jay-Z was wrong for going to his spot when he was in jail. But Jay-Z could have felt like, yo, you my brother, you in jail. I can't get in touch with you, nigga, and tell you, yo, I'm going to go sell some drugs over here and get in the, in the feds and grabbed you. No, nigga, it's business as usual. Your ass got taken out. Iris, good looking. Thanks for the cash app. Your, your ass got taken out. So the business got to keep going. It got to keep going. I can't notify you and you in the federal jail and you want me to still tell you where, what the operations is going on? No, 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 nigga, no, 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 no. I'm going to talk to you on the phone. Yeah, nigga, I'm, I'm going to go move in on the, on the spot over there. And they listening? So he's saying that Jay went to the spot. And he shouldn't have been there. Whether he was robbing it, whether he was hustling out of it, whether he, he went to his connect. Wherever Jay was seen, that Jay wasn't supposed to be there without his authority. So his man seen him there. Tai Chi B, good looking. Um, his man went and seen him and tried to and tried to do him. So this is why he don't fuck with him. So it like, and I saw that after I saw Marcy May, and I told him, yo. Because I got the, the advanced copy to see it, or I seen it before everybody seen it. 
And that's why I did the interview with him. But after I seen it, it made total sense to me why Jay don't fuck with you. And I said it back then. And Jay's lyrics on Love All is a clear, it's, it's like he just repeating what the hell I just said. But we're we going to get back to that. Hold on. Let me finish with this. Say it again. I said, I said that the fact, fact that, that you and dude is still cool and he don't rock with dude is why he don't rock with you and probably not going to forgive you because he might have he might have felt like you made that call. I mean, you can't. Hello. I'm just saying, it's just the wrong analogy. You know, Joe, you tell it, he's just saying it the wrong way. It's the wrong analogy. All right. But so I want to get to the point. I, I, we'll talk about that, but that's just the wrong analogy because you're not you're not telling it the right way. So right. so clear it up then. And you're cool. Right? Say that again. Me, you are cool. You yeah. my right hand man, right? You my right hand man, business partner. Right? And you see one of my homies, right? Sticking up my sticking up my candy store. Right? He ain't really, you know. And he looking at like, yo, why you sticking up the candy? Why you sticking up? And he go defend the candy store on my, on, on, you know, under under me. He gonna right. defend that, right? This is the point I'm making. Now, if Jay, if the Avon man see Jay doing sticking up the candy store and do something on behalf of the Haven, you just said it. He defended, he doing it for you. Whether Now, whether you gave him the call or not, Jay got to feel like, yo, if I'm your brother, yo, I should get a pass. And then if, even if I don't get a pass, a nigga don't throw, try to throw no goddamn uh, the hood truck, what up? Um, a nigga don't throw no shots at me, no bullets at me. And I'm your, you just said I'm your brother. And my man see you and you sticking to my candy store and he know not to violate nobody. Whoever violates that candy store is going to get it. But if Jay feeling like, yo, I'm family and I'm keeping shit going on the low, I can't talk to you because you not. Your man shouldn't be shooting at me. So for that, I'm not dealing with you. Is he wrong for that? Because he might have no business trying to rob my candy store. No. Why are you in there robbing my candy store for? No, he, no. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 your business partner is not wrong because nobody in, 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 in the game is supposed to be uh, robbing peoples. You know what I'm saying? You robbing peoples or you robbing anybody. For that matter, you're gonna get what your hand called for. So he hey, so right, exactly. So I ain't so you right, right, right. but then get the problem. Don't this put the problem, in. though. This is this is Jay's problem. Even though he we know who we're dealing with when we say Jay. You know what I'm saying? We know this nigga will backdoor anybody. He's he's slimy. This is why I don't I'm like I'm letting it go because I through your documentary, I know who who this man is. He don't care. He just want to be superior. He just want to be on top by any means. Well, see, that's what you're saying now. Hold on, hold on. Listen, that's what you're saying now who you know. That's why it was all surprising to me. You understand? That's why it was all surprising to me. If you tell me, Chip, if you say, yo, mind my cookie jar. Mind my cookie jar. And you go in the kitchen and you catch somebody by cookie jar, you're going to do what I told you. You're going to do what's supposed to be done. I ain't have to tell you because I told you to mind the cookie jar. You know what I'm saying? So whether you catch in the cookie jar, whoever it is, they in the room. 
And now you, you can't be mad at me because I told Choke to watch the cookie jar and you in it. Right. <laughs> so, yo, know, it's some shit. All right, but I, 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 I understand that. Man. But all I'm saying to you is this, that... All right. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So yeah, you know, it, it's just that it, you know, it's 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 just for people to look at. Let them have a determination on how shit is. But you know, when you if you gonna play by the rules, or don't be in the game. It's rules. It's right. his rules. I he said that, you know, in his lungs. I'm okay, not sure I, 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 I can get to the rules. Okay, all right. But do you understand that he violated, right? And for whatever reason, he 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 felt like what he wasn't what he was doing wasn't wrong, or he knew where he was going wrong. Where repercussions happen, but you gotta remember. You standing on this side, he on this side. You get what I'm saying? And being that that happened, and you wasn't standing on his side, that's why he not rocking with you because you standing on the on the other side. And he burned you, so he, he definitely feeling like, yo, you you maybe he might. I ain't saying he definitely feel. Because I, I don't know, but I would feel like either you you, you sent the kite or you didn't stop it. Either okay. or. You hear what I'm saying? And that, that's what that should be, in my opinion. Right. Either way, you didn't stop it. Right. But take your move. I, I don't know nothing that's going on. See? That's the thing. I don't know what was going on. And that the fact that I don't even know what's going on is even worse because that's why I don't know nothing going on, Joe. Yeah, but I, I, ain't no, at some point you found out. No, guess why? Because it, 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 it just was the common courtesy of coming to check a nigga behind the wall. That was it. All you had to do was come to see me. So by you not coming to see me, the grimy was on already. But you gotta read, yo. See, 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 see the Amy man. See, bro. <laughs> you see, bro. You see, bro. That's why Jay wasn't rocking with you. See, that flew over my head the last time. That flew over my head, brother, last time. You just said, being that Jay didn't come see you when you was locked up, the grimy was already on. It was already fucked that nigga. Oh, the nigga ain't come see me? You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck that nigga already. You just said that, brother. The grimy was already on because he ain't come see you. But he's not supposed to come see you in a federal situation. You know he got to fill out paperwork to come see you and a federal visit. It's not right because Allen, he can slip up in there with some fake ID and come sit down with you and boss it up boop, 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 and kick the Willie Bobo or some business or some, yo, we still moving shit. No, in the federal penitentiary, nigga, he got to fill out paperwork. And why would he put his name on the paperwork where he knew he was selling drugs with you, allegedly? It would connect y'all. Even though y'all got pictures, phone calls, all that shit, you know he's not supposed to walk up in the motherfucking jail and see you, nigga. Hell no. I yo, and like he explains that he a different type of nigga. And he go, he, we take care of our niggas too. But I guarantee you, motherfucking, it's gonna be six degrees of separation for that goddamn money to get to you. I'm not coming to see you, but I'm gonna take care of you. I'm not coming to see your mother, your sister, nobody close to you that's going to connect me to you in this type of situation. But, oh, I'm still going to take care of you because this chick going to get to that nigga that's going to get to that nigga that's going to get to that cousin that's going to get to that brother that's going to get to that aunt to that mother to get it to you.
I mean, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know, know about it. We, we got to leave, we gotta leave that to them. Let them know. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm going to say something different. Man. This ain't got nothing to do with that. Well, I'm going to say this. When, when, when I'm in the streets, or the rules that I know about, like, I'm saying, when the nigga get caught by the feds and you still in the streets, you you fall back. You know, you, and if you still getting dirty and you still need to do anything, you're not getting in contact with that nigga. Okay. No? All right. So, look, let me tell you. Right or wrong? I'm in the street. You agree with that? Listen, no, 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 no. No, 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 I'm not good with that. When I'm in the streets and somebody on my line get knocked, I'm on top of it. I'm going to see your moms. I'm going to see your girl. I'm going I'm on top of it because I need to know what you're doing in case you're bringing me in on something. So I'm on top of that like fire. I don't run away from it. I, I run to it so I can understand what's going on. See, these are the rules. And see how you just say how you going to carry it? It's other niggas that's gonna carry to the fullest because I understand what it is on the left on a federal level. I can't turn my back on you. If I gotta pay for your lawyer, I need to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do. But I mean, I got I agree. But business, before yeah. before, no. But yeah, I'm coming to you. You ain't gonna have to look for me. Ask anybody. Those are the rules. I don't leave jail with clothes. I leave I leave jail with just my, my boxes and no sneakers. I, I I know all the rules. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta remember everybody rules don't apply to every crew and every person. But it's only one formality to this, bro. Shut the fuck up Friday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, but see, like you just said, and that's what I'm saying. Everybody don't know the rules. And that's why that leak got out to the street. Only talk to this man, moms, unless you know I'm, I'm I'm a snitch. And when all I asked was just to talk to your son. So I'm going to leave it on that note. They can watch the documentary and let them, you know, I do some Q&As. But everybody will have a different perspective. But I'm going to carry it by the rules, Joe. Jo no lie. Right. So some niggas will run from it. Some niggas are going to back down. I'm going to stop hustling. Because my main goal now is to figure out what's going on with my man. You right. know what I'm saying? So some people play the games, but they don't really know the rules. Yeah. That's I'm, what I'm, sure. I'm going to tell you something, man. Lead them street rules. Back <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo. I'm telling you, man, that's it's going to apply to real life no more. It don't hey, apply. Yo, if you're not in the street no more, let that shit go, brother. No, there is no this to me. I still I still live by my morals and my principles in these streets, but I'm humble with it because I ain't in the streets. There's no drugs in my in my life and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But I still live by a certain code. You know what I'm saying? So I stay away from that shit, you know, the street shit, but I'm still who I am morally. Right. What's right is right. That's all. I just ask for a man to be men. Yeah, yeah man. You, you guys got to remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, everybody won't play by your rules. And that's why I don't play. <laughs> I just stay humble with it. I'm saying, like, like, if I can drop some knowledge, what I can do. So, as y'all can see, y'all can see D Haven's perspective on. Jay allegedly stealing from his his candy jar, so he was wrong. So his man did what he had to do, and it was already fuck that nigga anyway because he wasn't coming to visit to check on me anyway. So it was like when my man seen him, it was already fuck that nigga. So I ain't got to tell the nigga yo don't do nothing to him. It's already fuck him. So it's on site, right now. That's a whole over a year ago that we had that conversation. So in the present time, the Haven still, what you call it, um, goes at Jay or you know talks about Jay in a way that he don't understand why Jay is not fucking with him. And I told him then, once after I seen Marcy May, and go see it so you can see for yourself. Once he explains that, you get it. 
you know why Jay ain't rocking with him no more. But it finally took Jay himself um, to say it for people to, um, I guess, or to give Davis some closure, basically, to or for him to like to stop. Like, yo, nigga, this is why I don't rock with you. You know what I'm saying? So he's finally addressing it. A lot of y'all, like I said, thought he was talking to Kanye and, and Dame and me, this, that, and other. But now that I gave you the backstory, all the way back from 96, 95, 94, all the way up until now, you, you, you now you can listen to the verse and see that Jay's talking to the Haven more than anybody else y'all think he's talking to. Now, I when I read the lyrics, you'll get it. Here we go. Y'all can look at this yourself. Niggas wanted to kill me, and y'all still with him. And D.A. is still cool with dude to today. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, y'all chill with him, and y'all wonder why we not friends. Best thing I could do is not build with you when I could destroy you. That takes some fucking discipline. I could send a team to come drill you. I got a bill or two. And I know where the fuck you live. Niggas got to chill talking gangster. You should just thank us. Humble yourselves a little bit. This ain't the same Sean that you once, that, that you knew once. I don't sign shoes. Uh, this ain't what you want. No. All that back and forth on the internet. Nigga, we don't tennis that. Y'all got to do something. Yeah. We only respect now. Only thing we respect now is violence. Anything besides that, we playing violence. Uh, I'm public enemy. Niggas wanted to kill me and you want me to be friendly. Niggas want sympathy after they wanted to end me. Because those clot, those be those closest to it, to very ones that envy. Shout out to the family. I don't want the friends no more. Not many understand me. I think he's saying when he say shout out to the family, because in the, the Marcy May joint, uh, D Haven Moms, you know, she she talking highly of Jay. It, you know, in a way like she missed him, like he was a son to her or whatever. And I guess is you know, that's Jay saying shout out to the family, like. Shout out to y'all. I ain't got no beef with y'all. I just don't fuck with him. Ain't got nothing to do with y'all. I don't want no more friends. Not many understand me. Everybody wants something. You know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. But everybody wants something. You know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. Once again, from the top. Niggas wanted to kill me, and y'all still with him. Nigga. You chill with him. And y'all wonder why we not friends? Best thing I could do is not build with you. And he said, yo, I don't even want to talk. The best thing for him to do is not even talk to you. I'm just leaving this shit alone. It ain't nothing to talk to you about. When I could destroy you, that takes some fucking discipline. I could tell, like, right there, the, the whole shit, niggas wanted to kill me, and y'all still with them. Nigga, you, that's just saying it all. All the back and forth on the internet, blah, 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 blah. If there's any other shots thrown at anybody, fine. If there's shots thrown at me, I don't give a fuck. But I know that the bulk of that conversation is addressing that situation, basically telling D. Haven. Because who else is his, is his uh, friend or where he could go back in his life and tell my niggas was trying to kill him? Kanye wasn't around. Dane wasn't trying to kill him back then. I wasn't around. So who the fuck you talking about? But Haven that with the, all, that is currently talking about him on the internet. This ain't the same Sean that you once knew, or that you knew once. 
We ain't never know him as Sean. De Haven knows him as Sean. When Dame got with him, he was Jay-Z. When I got with him, he was Jay-Z. When Kanye got with him, he was Jay-Z. When De Haven knew him, he was Sean. It's very simple if you follow Jay-Z career to know who the hell he's talking about. De Haven didn't know who he's talking about. And there's plenty of people out here that know who he's talking about De Haven. And I think that's a, another shot too when he said everybody wants something, you know, the price of everything, but the value of nothing. Saying like the nigga always talking about the bricks and how much the bricks and niggas was getting. I, I think that's like a shot. I don't know. I can be reaching, but that's what I think that is to go along with the story. Nigga, everybody wants something, you know, the price of everything, but the value of nothing. That shit is a deep ass jewel. <laughs> if you know what the fuck he's saying. But, so, for all y'all that keep saying, yo, Chucky talking about you, if, if it's a few lines and shots at me, so what? I don't care. But I know the, the meat and potatoes of that story goes back to Sean <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, all the way back then. Nigga, I'm not, I, this ain't Sean. I don't shine shoes. Like, nigga, I'm not your worker no more. You know what I'm saying? This is not that, I'm not that nigga no more. I, I done evolved. And I don't fuck with you because your man tried to murk me. But, it's enough for y'all niggas around, Jay. What up, Jay? I know you're watching. But it's enough for y'all around, Jay, to ask him who the hell he's talking about. But if that ain't clear to you, then you tell me. You you come with a better breakdown than what I just gave you. Make it make sense. I know what the hell I'm talking about. All right? Choke no joke, man. I told y'all this over a year ago. I told D.A. even this over a year ago. Over a year ago. And I just gave you the receipts. Stay the don't follow those cats. Choke those jokes. Hold on, I ain't going nowhere yet. I ain't going nowhere yet. I need to see what y'all talking about in these comments. We got to talk about this. I'm going to have to go way back because y'all been talking a whole lot. Let's see where we at. All right, hold on. I went back too far. All right. The problem is the Haven wants Jay to rock with him after the attempts we made on his life. I guess that means choke is on point. Yep, you playing both sides of the fence. Jay don't need the Haven and it hurts him. I don't think Jay, I mean, the Haven think that he needs him. Jay standing on his own too and the Haven is leeching. He sounds upset, but he's out the loop. And it kills the Haven and Emery is still in the circle that once the head of.
You got to watch the replay to get the full version. Yes, you do, my love. Jay-Z shouldn't get no pass for trying to steal a Rob Javen. That brother it shit is out the window once you cross the line. What do Jay-Z expect if he crossed the Avon? Rather he sent him or not. Well, what you say, it makes sense, right? But then why Jay, I mean, why the Avon want to even deal with him after what he did, if that's the case? I mean, you can forgive somebody but that don't mean they gonna forgive you, you know. Libra Sky, what up? That guy behaving confused the internet fucked his head up. Why would Jay come to see him in the damn feds while he connected the Haven? Why he was Jade artist. Wow. Yeah, I don't agree with that at all. <clears throat> Emotional ish. We drug dealers. I'm not coming to see you, bro. <laughs> I mean, you can, and the state is different, man. But if you got a federal case and you know. A nigga was attached to your case. You can't be asking a nigga to come see you and fill out that paper. That, that'd be the dumbest shit. No disrespect, but that wouldn't be smart. I feel it's deeper. Could be. The even on some emotional ish. The even was a shot caller, so he assumes that you made that call, but Jay-Z had no right putting his hand in the jar of cookies and wasn't even talking to you because you was in the feds, you was hot. Watching this video over again, DeHaven showing how much he a grimy person. Known association, he's a bug out. Emotion clouds logic, very true. In any in any situation. <laughs> Plus, he can't keep a smile off his face talking about he didn't know that was going to happen to Jay. <laughs> right. Facts. If you have a file, you have a K slash A file too. I don't know what that means. I look at this D Haven and Jay Z stuff in a totally different light right now, thanks to Choke breaking it down. Choke did so dope while you broke this down. D Haven, no, Choke got him. You have to go by the middle, man, because hot, I can't understand that. Typo in there. Jay would have got caught and killed so many times if he did what D. Haven wanted. <laughs> How many times can you get killed? What are you talking about? Say Jay would have got killed so many times. Man, you get killed once, you, you're dead. You can't get killed and killed and killed. So <laughs> you sound crazy. <laughs> Not in the federal prison, though. Agreed. The Haven was guilty of lying by omission, and he was baking on hove, not speaking on it. Well, people on different time. Exactly, Mimi. That part. Either the Haven is real grimy or super lame to street clothes. Code. Yes, a lot of people know Jay don't talk. Imagine what Jay knows. Yeah, but a different person though. Everybody's going to handle that situation differently. And the facts, and the fact that you brought him in the game, he didn't know the game like you knew the game. That's true. I'll give you that. Well, you know, at that point, he could have known certain things. 
The streets don't love nobody. After code, you grown now. Okay, so he tried to run in your spot. Your man shot at him. Done deal. What more do you want? Jay didn't agree with something he did wrong. On point. Hmm. Acting confused, shaking my head. So is this verse on Cool Lover Boy? Yes, on the song called Love All. I saw it. Mimi behaving and expect Jay to have what he have, and he is upset because Emery have his position. What's wild is behaving is still with those dudes that tried to kill him. She's got no love. Hey, Choke, I have a re I have to recap. I hope all is well. Hi, right, Angel. Yes, you did say that. Super wild makes all the sense. These interviews he even did makes him look crazy. That's Miles said a lot about Mimi. Jay was talking real greasy. I'm talking greasy. Hey, y'all, uh, I ain't mad at Jigger for now. He feels about the Haven. Do you think Jay-Z watched Marcy made? Hell yeah, he watched it. Why wouldn't he? He watching right now. Why wouldn't he watch Marcy made? Yeah, so for everybody that came with, he talking about Kanye and and Dane, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I'm not saying a few bars ain't for them. Um, I ain't saying a few bars ain't for me, for people that believe that. But I can tell you, the meat and potatoes of that, if you know Jay and you know his history and you know D'Avon and you know all the stories that D'Avon told and you watch Marcy May, you know exactly who he's talking about. Well, that's dope. He gave a shout out to the family, though. <laughs> joke, no joke, man. I'll let you out in a minute, man. What love? You already know. Let's go out to Grey Go. Now I'm out the game. Feel good, not pitching in the hood. Uh, and I really don't think I could uh, go back to selling crack and stashing them packs in my ass. I maintain weekly money the same. And nah, I don't go through them games. Niggas testing my brain with them triple beans filled with change. Pot crack, grams in the drain. Getting hit with the fake exchange. Like bacon soda flour. After being on Broadway for hours. Getting knocked, being back at start. Niggas testing if I got hard. Pushing me to pop some shots. Just stop the ball before it starts. The been Give description to cops. Why they try to tear us apart with that good cop, bad cop. I ain't going for the game. He ain't tell you a thing. Your partner's with him. Yo, if y'all want to get Marcy made, it's on Vimeo on demand. And I think it's on Amazon Prime. It's on Vimeo and on Amazon. All right. I think I watched it on on. I think I watched it on both actually, but I definitely, definitely know it's on Vimeo and Amazon. All right. Have a blessed day, Gina. You mad at Jay because he's treating somebody else unfairly? Uh, well, we ain't going to get into that. This ain't a, we ain't going to badge Jay day today. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing this AP. All right, one love. Saying the same, you can tighten them cuffs till you see veins. Stop fucking yanking them down. Shout out to Bigger BX out in Vegas.
If you out in Vegas, get out with my man Bigger BX. They mind fuck you if you ain't saying. And nigga never sniff cocaine. Uh -huh. And I don't care what game or part of the area you claim. Gray Scarface, you must be insane. Nigga, Tony fucked the boy's dame. His right hand man, he's slain to get his back blown out the game. Do it on the low, let nobody know. No pillow talk to home. And if he step on your toes, don't bust a blame. Cause everybody will know. Or get out the game. Yeah. They say that change is good. Uh -huh. It's a lot of stress in the hood. And I know if you could, you would. Get out the game, but you stuck in that time. Where the nigga in public like shine. For a witness to drop a dime. For self-defense, do a dime. Celebs doing time. Mike Vick on the child line. Even Kobe. Yeah, and if y'all want to get the hip hop nucleus, y'all can get it on my website, chokenojokeproductions.com. All right. Choke no joke productions with an S dot com. The hip hop nucleus. Digital downloads only. All right. One love. Let's get into it. Making a fifth go rumble. Because of stick of trouble. Blasting your gap for a cat for in fact with some crap that don't involve you For some dudes that don't love you All they wanna do is pawn you Until you go down And don't do shit for you when you lock down Or even when you touch down But they tell you to go to the pound The same block that gave you a pound Years in the pen Now you live it again What my state do you in? When you back it for 10 And you was just waiting for a team to come home To relive it again Entrapment should be a sin The way they reel us in We'll roll us to a revolving door to bring us in This shit is insane The game is insane The game will fuck with your brain That's why I'm out the game Yeah Shout out to Escobar Let's get out the game, man I know they told y'all, it's only two up. ways out, jail and day. Nah, just get out, nigga. Just get out, man. It's easy. That's the boss of God. Walk away, nigga. If they care about you, they'll let you go. Got before you. If you in the game, and you want to go and get a better life, and they won't let you walk away, what do that say? Get out the game, nigga. You want to sleep easy, nigga? Look at these rap niggas, nigga. You want to be the next rapper? Trapper, clapper? Federal indictment rapper? Huh? I keep telling y'all niggas, man, get out the game, man. Joke no joke. Grego, you already know. The beast is chemical, baby. That's why I'm out the game. Stay the L. Don't follow those cats.